I view my creative work like a forest. Sometimes the undergrowth and forest floor need to be cleared out to make room for new growth. And it's time to make some room. I love the concept that all good things must come to an end. Not because I don't like them, but because I like the fact that new things must also start. For the last time, I'm gonna look at this work and I'm gonna think about what I did. This is High Tide Coffee Company, a project I worked on in my first real graphic design class. It's also the first piece of work that a professor actually really liked. In fact, it was the first work I ever had showcased at my college. There's a lot of problems with the branding package I made here, but it was a really fun project and something I actually keep on my portfolio today. This is probably the lamest identity I've ever made in layout, but it's functional and I love sharing it to students because a functional identity is all you need sometimes. This was my first experience with packaging and mock-ups. This is Roots, a project about dental health and how sugar can completely wreck your teeth. I loved this project because it hit close to home for me as someone who's dealt with dental issues. This brand identity is simple and it works and it's one of my favorites because I used a pattern throughout the design. I didn't get an A on this project because I didn't turn in this piece on time. In fact, I didn't even write all of it. I'm pretty sure I either used lorem ipsum or an article from somewhere. Either way, this editorial piece kind of sucks. I do like the page numbers though. I am partial to this. These are social media mockups. Again, this is some of the first social media I ever did in design class. Guerrilla marketing is probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in design, and it's why I don't do print to this day. These are sugar bottles showing you how much sugar is in a bottle of Coke. I had to go to a Target to do this. The lighting is horrible, but I had the project due, I think like an hour after I took and edit these. This project's utterly random, and that's why it's placed in the middle of this list. This was a photorealism project where I took a picture of a product and then created it in a vector program called Adobe Illustrator. This project makes no sense to me to this day as I have never needed to do anything like this since, but it was actually pretty fun and impressive to see how close you can get to a photo from vector. Yes, I love skateboarding and I had a blast making this. This is the Fight for Fun campaign. I love this project not because of the final output, but because it's something that's close to home for me. As an athlete growing up, I dealt with all kinds of sports-related issues and drama, and this program was designed to put the fun back into sports. Yes, there's so many issues with these prints, and in fact, I'm pretty sure I got a bad grade on this because I didn't turn in actual foam board. I turned in like printer mock-ups, and they roasted me for that. I really do like this project, mainly because of my buddy Tyreek and his awesome athletic photo he took in the center. I will never see this picture and not think of the grade I got from this assignment. I remember having an emotional breakdown and not being able to turn this thing in on time. I got a C on the project, I'm pretty sure, and it's really horrible. I got too caught up in the micro level details of this project and spent hours and hours on tiny designs that no one could see the detail in out of any project I have in this list is the best parable and a cautionary tale for me to this day. I love looking at this though because it shows me where I've come from and I've grown a lot in my ability to zoom out and not get super focused on things that don't matter. This was my rebound project after two bad grades in that hard class. I got an A in this project and the professor really liked where I went with this. It's a social good campaign about how junk food holds you down and how healthy food can change your life. I love this project not because it looks cool, but because it is a parable, again, of how I was able to rebound after two really tough projects. This is my favorite project I've ever done in college, and it's not because of anything special. It's just an example of the styles I like to work with. Sometimes I really like low contrast design, even though it can be a no-no, and I'm a sucker for grain, as you probably have figured out by now. 
This was a magazine project called Almost in Style. Ironically, this was actually going to be the name of my design company before I decided on Jossie. I changed away from Almost in Style for obvious reasons. It's a terrible name and it's super long. This is by far my favorite piece I ever worked on in college, and it's something I'm gonna remember fondly for a long time. This phone board's really jacked up, but it's supposed to be the contents and inner page for my magazine. It just showcases how weird my design style was back in the day, and I still really like looking at this because it reminds me of where I came from and some of these styles I've brought into my current look. This is a movie poster for my first and only short film I ever made in college. I think the design is fine, but memories here are not about the visuals, it's about the fact that this was where I got to make a video for school for the first time. And I remember how much I loved making this project, even though I wasn't very good. I think it's interesting that I'm still making videos now today for no monetary value, but for fun. This was a horrendous web mock-up I made. I don't even know what my plan was here. I think this was just to get to the finish line because I needed three pieces for the project and this was the third piece. I've come a long way here and I'm pretty stoked to throw this one away, honestly. I think it's so important to remember to take a step back and look at where you've come from. But at the end of that experience though, it is just as important to remember to take that first step and realize where you're going. So here I am, burning down the undergrowth to start new growth. I have more room now to make new and better things.